In the design optimization phase, we recommend conducting a sensitivity analysis as a first step. Why? With numerical simulations, it's sometimes like the foggy road. The fog illustrates the difficulties in design optimization. For instance, is our CAE process working fine in this whole design space? What are suitable parameter ranges? Which of the parameters are the most important ones? Uh, what is my optimization potential? What is a good formulation for objective and constraints? Coming back to the illustration of the road covered with fog, you know where you are, but it's unclear where to go. With a sensitivity analysis, we want to remove that fog. By means of a global sensitivity analysis, the optimization potential and the corresponding important variables are identified. This knowledge enables the formulation of task-related objective functions and constraints later in the optimization. Let us understand the topic in three steps. We begin with the, the design of experiments. Remember our hook we have defined the design space. Optistang suggests you to the DOE, the design of experiments, that will help you placing the designs in the design space for optimal coverage. Afterwards, each design needs to be evaluated using the CAE solver. Second step is the Mela model. Once all designs are calculated, all input and output parameters are available for the giving design of experiments. We can now create an approximation of each output as a function of the design parameters. This is called mirror model or response surface. They can be set up by using different methods. Therefore, we train meta models using, for example, AI. ML algorithms, the meta model with the highest forecast quality measured by the coefficient of prognosis COP will be chosen and is called meta model of optimal prognosis or short MOP. The MOP is the best available description of the behavior between input parameters and each output parameter. You can even use an adaptive approach where OptisLine can automatically add new designs in, in interesting regions of the design space. These are evaluated and the MOB is recreated. This is called Adaptive Mera Model of Optimal Prognosis, AMOP. Third step is the sensitivity analysis. OptisLine automatically neglects unimportant parameters and based on the MOP, the most important input parameters are evaluated related to each output parameter. This includes an automatic ranking of parameter importance and allows to work with many input parameters. The sensitivity analysis is usually iterative. In the first analysis, you may learn whether your CAE process is working in the complete design space then you may modify your simulation and parameters and rerun it. To summarize, sensitivity analysis scans the design space and evaluates the, var the variance of the input and output parameters. OptisLang completes these analysis automatically by generating first the design of experiments and OptisLang can add design points where necessary. Second, the best possible meta model MOP for each output parameter. Third, a ranking of input parameter importance. The sensitivity analysis help you to identify if CAE process is stable in design space, identify the important parameters for each output. Moreover, it helps you finding suitable parameter ranges. And finally, to better understand the optimization task to formulate objectives and constraints.